Look what I found, you guys. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, this is preserved. <clears throat> of course, he's looking, not looking so good, right? Not alive. Ah! But this is a polychaete worm. This is what you would find if you went out to a tide pool and turned over some rocks, you would be lucky enough to find one of these polychaete worms. This is Neris. And we are doing just external anatomy on Nera. So we can easily tell the anterior head different from the posterior tail, right? A lot uh, more characteristics going on on this creature here, okay? So, uh, wow, look at that. That's so interesting. So I can get his little tentacles out of the way. How well can you see that? Oh, don't, 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 don't. Bring them close, bring them close, focus. Oh, you still can't see it real well. Look how small everything is. But still, these are predatory worms. Aren't you glad you're not another worm out there? And this is showing they got really good jaws. So they can, they actually can bite. Uh, I've never been bit by one though before and I'm, I'm handling these guys all the time. Uh, but you can see the jaw on them and then if I go back down, and so see how they look fuzzy compared to the earthworm, right? So all these things here, this whole, on each segment, there is a parapodia, okay? So these little appendages, you're like, show me more. I know, I will. Okay, let's get it up close. Up like that. Oh, give me those parapodia. Oops, focus. Well, look at those things, right? So each one of these is a parapodia. And so you're gonna be looking at a slide of a parapodia, but they take this and they pull it off and they put it on a slide and then you can see the sete and the siri and the acetabulum, all that is on there on each individual parapodium. So the entire worm has got has several parapodia all up and down the animal. Now marine worms, there are lots and lots of different varieties of them. This is just the standard marine worm, Neris, that we're gonna be studying. Uh, I do have to warn you, if you go out to tide pools and look for these though, particularly if you're down in Baja, there are some where the sete come off and get into your skin and it's kind of like those real fine cactus spines, those glottids that they kind of, it hurts, but not terrible, but they can cause a rash. So those sete are nothing to play with and beware of that. So don't, you gotta know which worm you're grabbing. There are some that they call fire worms and it's because they, they get into your skin and, and it hurts or burns. It has a burning sensation, especially in salt water. You get the idea. So don't go playing with everything that you find in the tide pools, but do appreciate them, right? So remember, we're always learning about these things so that we can see them in the wild and know what the heck they are. Okay, that's it.